This video is brought to you by the Product Manager Infantry Combat Equipment, or PDM ICE. PDM ICE is a product management office within Marine Corps Systems Command, located in Quantico, Virginia. The Marine Corps has begun fielding two separate sleep systems developed to work together. The first one is called the Three Season Sleep System, or the 3S, and is typically a general purpose bag. The second bag is called the Extreme Cold Weather Bag. Both bags can be used independent or combined depending on the weather conditions. When combined, they perform at sub-zero degree temperatures. Both bags replace a previously issued modular sleep system. This video will cover the characteristics of both bags. However, it's important to note that in order for the bags to perform effectively at the colder temperature ranges, both systems require the use of various components that are not issued with the sleep system. However, they're typically carried when it's cold enough to use a sleeping bag. I'm referring to items such as the flame resistant long johns, the improved sleeping mat, and the all purpose liner. Without these items, your system will not perform its design and you will be cold. Again, these items are not issued with the sleep system, however, they are readily available at both the unit and individual issue facilities. Though a lot of information will be presented in this video, it is not necessary to memorize everything. Included in both systems will be a visual user guide that will contain all the information you will need to properly prepare for sleeping in cold weather conditions. One of the most important things to keep in mind is that preparation is the key to ensuring that you'll be able to sleep as comfortable as possible during extreme cold weather conditions. Some of the things to keep in mind when preparing are research the area that you plan to operate in and around to get an idea of the weather conditions that you can expect. And 15 degrees is the temperature range to keep in mind when determining which bag to use. 15 degrees and warmer, use a 3S. 15 degrees and colder, use the extreme cold weather bag. Regardless of which bag you use, ensure that your unit has access to the cold weather clothing items that you will need to augment both bags. We will discuss those cold weather clothing items later in this video. We are now ready to discuss the first bag, the 3S, and the name says it all. Think of it as the bag for the spring, summer, and fall seasons. It's designed to operate in temperature ranges of 15 degrees and above. It is not designed to perform in the temperature ranges of 15 degrees or colder, and that's considered the fourth season or the winter season. We have the extreme cold weather bag for that. Your 3S will come with the following. A sleeping bag for warmth, a bivy sack for wet wind protection, a compression sack to pack and carry it, a mesh storage bag to store the system while in garrison, and the all-important visual user guide. When you go to the issue facility to receive your sleeping bag, make sure the user guide is stowed away in the pocket of the compression sack. Let's briefly discuss each component, starting with the sleeping bag itself. The purpose of the sleeping bag is to keep you warm. The sleeping bag comes in two sizes, so be sure to pick the appropriate size for your height. The regular size is for Marines 5'11 and shorter, whereas the long bag is for Marines over 5'11. There's a tag on the bottom of the bag that depicts the size. The color of the liner also indicates the size. Coyote is the regular size and olive drab is the long size. If you want to stay warm and not carry unnecessary weight and volume, choose the correct size. The liner incorporates antimicrobial properties which minimizes odor development by preventing the growth of bacteria. We have two collar snaps to keep the heat in. It contains a drawer cord with a cord lock at 12 o'clock, which allows for the bag to form a hood for the user. The colder it is, the more the hood should be cinched. There are four bivy sack attachment loops. The bottom hanging loop is a dual purpose attachment loop as it is used for both attaching to the bivy sack and for hanging the bag to dry and or air out. Always fluff the bag before using it for maximum warmth. Trapped air is what insulates you. The bag incorporates a non-snag zipper and unlike your previous sleeping bag, the zipper runs down the center of the bag. This design allows for ease of closing and exit. Now let's discuss the bivy sack. The purpose of the bivy sack is to protect you and the sleeping bag from wind, rain and snow, which will assist in keeping you warm and dry. It's breathable, so it's safe to completely zip it closed in harsh weather conditions. The bivy incorporates non-snag zippers along with a zipper stop at the top. It has a screen window with wire stiffeners that keeps the screen off your face. 
Use the stiffeners to form a teepee shape so any rain will run off and hold the zipper off the wet ground. To unzip the bivy, simply pull down from the top. The screen has a flap that allows you to close the window partially or completely, as well as a toggle fastener that's used when the window is open and the flap is rolled up. Open the window as much as weather permits. When using the bivy inside a tent, be sure to fold the top of the bivy down to your chest so moisture from your breath doesn't get trapped inside the bivy. This is really important because it helps avoid unnecessary condensation. There are four snap tabs used for attaching to the sleeping bag. And two loops for hanging the bag when you need to air or dry it out. Now let's take a look at the compression stuff sack. The purpose of the compression stuff sack is to pack, carry, and keep the system dry when not in use. When used correctly, this sack is completely water resistant. It incorporates a folding closure system that requires a minimum of four neat folds. A fill-on indicator overfilling this sack will prevent you from getting the four required folds needed for water resistancy. A pocket for the all-important visual user guide. An air purge valve that does not let water in. And two compression straps and a grab handle. This sack, fully compressed, will contain the entire three-season sleep system. The mesh storage bag is used for when storing the system for extended periods of time, such as when in garrison. After using it, but before storing it, be sure to wash the sleeping bag and the bivy sack in order to rejuvenate the bag's fluffiness and the bivy sack's waterproofness that dirt degrades. Just be sure to rinse it thoroughly. Before we discuss the visual user's guide, we will quickly demonstrate how to properly use the stuff sack. Always start with the bottom of the sleeping bag and bivy first. In order to compress the sack to its smallest size, it's important to completely fill out the very bottom of the sack. Next, fold the top over and press down with two hands to purge out as much air as possible. The contents of the sack should be at or below the fill line indicator. Your first fold will be between the two black straps. Continue to make neat folds. Remember, you're folding, not rolling. Fold it down at least until you reach the fill line indicator. If there's room to make additional folds, do so. When finished folding, attach the two compression strap buckles and then flip the sack over and purge the remaining air out by applying pressure with your knee while pulling on the straps. The final component that is issued as part of the three season sleep system is the visual user guide. If the 3S you received did not have this guide, Request a replacement guide from the issue facility. This guide is extremely important as it will help you ensure you are prepared for cold weather conditions. The front of the user guide shows what the important features of each component are and the back shows how to use it. A very important aspect of the user guide is the chart that depicts the clothing and other assets needed for the varying temperatures. The chart is labeled Dress Right for Best Sleep. The 3S was developed before the Extreme Cold Weather Bag was available. The 3S user guide shows an option of wearing the Extreme Cold Weather Parker and Trouser in the 3S for temperatures at 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that the Extreme Cold Weather Bag is available, choose it instead of the 3 Season for temperatures below 15 degrees so that you're prepared if temperatures fall below 10 degrees. Whenever using clothing layers inside of a sleeping bag, if you find you're too warm, it's critical to remove layers and stop sweating. Add a layer during the night if you get cold, but avoid sweating in the bag. Let's take a look at the clothing layers that are used with the sleep system. All of the layers are numbered one through five, however, be selective when choosing layers based upon the temperatures. All of the layers are issued out of either the individual or unit issue facilities. The first layer consists of simply your personally owned underwear. The second layer consists of the FR Silkweight Long Johns, a pair of socks, and a fleece cap. The third layer is the FR Midweight Long Johns and the glove liners that come with the extreme cold weather mittens. 
The fourth layer is where you would incorporate the all-purpose liner or the poncho liner and the FR balaclava. The fifth and final layer is the extreme cold weather parker, trouser, and booties, otherwise known as the happy suit. If your unit has not received any of the new FR silkweight or midweight long johns, you can simply substitute it for the non-FR polypro long johns because they provide the same level of warmth. It's critical to understand, do not overdress in order to avoid being cold. If you do overdress, you're going to end up sweating in the bag and you'll be cold that night and the following nights because there's little chance for the bag to dry. If your skin is cool to the touch, you know you're not going to sweat in the bag. And if you do end up waking up cold, just add another layer. Though not directly part of any particular layer, the improved sleeping mat should be used under the sleep system in every weather condition. As you can see, the chart takes the guesswork out of it. Simply match up the temperature with the corresponding layers and you're good to go. From there, you can adjust for your personal comfort and level of acclimation to the cold. Now let's quickly summarize some of the key points of the 3S. The 3S is for spring, summer, and fall conditions at 15 degrees Fahrenheit and above when used with standard issue clothing. Research the area and weather conditions you are expected to operate in and around. Use the temperature chart to avoid overdressing and sweating. Finally, spend some time to get a complete understanding of the features and proper use of these sleeping bags and the user guides for best performance. Now let's take a look at the extreme cold weather bag and the larger compression stuff sack. The word cold in the name is important because this bag protects against the fourth season, that winter season, that the three season bag does not protect against. When this bag is used by itself, it's simply called the outer bag and it's used for temperature ranges from zero up to 15 degrees. However, it becomes the extreme cold weather bag when it's paired with the three season sleep system and it's used for temperature ranges from zero down to minus 13 degrees. And as depicted in the dress right for best sleep chart on the visual user guide, you can see that you still need to use all the items that you use with the three season with the extreme cold weather bag in order for it to be effective. The extreme cold weather bag comes with the following components. The outer sleeping bag, a compression stuff sack that's slightly larger than the one for the three season because it holds both bags, and a visual user guide that focuses on the extreme cold weather bag and its components. Let's briefly discuss each component starting with the sleeping bag itself. Unlike your three season, the extreme cold weather bag only comes in one size. You can use it alone, or if using it in below zero temperatures, put the three season inside of it. Either size will fit into it. We have four hook and loop tabs on the inside for attaching to the three season outside loops. There's one at the bottom, one on each side, and one at the top. The bag incorporates a non-snag zipper that runs down the center and lines up with your three season. It contains a side drawer cord with a cord lock which allows for the bag to form a hood for the user. When the two sleeping bags are used together, you know what sleeping bag hood to adjust in the dark by its location. The three season is located at the 12 o'clock position and the outer bag is located at the 3 o'clock position. There are three toggles for attaching the two sleeping bag hoods together so the hood doesn't cover your face, causing you to breathe moisture into the bag. There's one on each side and one at the top. Finally, we have four bivy sack attachment loops, one at the top, one on each side, and one at the bottom. The bottom loop on the outside is also used to hang it in order to air and or dry it out. Let's now discuss the compression stuff sack. When used correctly, the compression stuff sack is completely water resistant. It will hold both sleeping bags and the bivy sack. It incorporates a wide fold enclosure system, air purge valves on both sides, a compression flap, and a pocket for the all-important visual user guide. Before we discuss the user guide, we will demonstrate how to properly use the compression stuff sack. Here we have the entire sleep system, which includes both sleeping bags inside of the bivy. To reduce the volume, first fold the bivy in half lengthwise and start rolling it up tightly, beginning at the foot box. Insert the rolled system as deep and tight into the stuff sack as possible. 
Fold once along the black strap and push down to expel air. Continue to expel air as you make neat, flat folds at least three more times and until tight. Now connect the side release buckles and then wrap the compression flap around the sack and connect the two compression strap buckles. Pull the ends of the compression straps and purge the remaining air out while applying pressure with your knee. We will now demonstrate putting the entire sleep system into the lower compartment of the USMC pack. It's also called the sleep compartment. Be sure to utilize the retention straps located inside the sleep compartment. The final component that is issued as part of the Extreme Cold Weather Bag is a visual user guide. If the Extreme Cold Weather Bag you received did not have this guide, request a replacement guide from the issue facility. As with the 3S guide, a very important aspect is the chart that depicts the clothing and other assets needed at the varying temperatures. The guide also depicts how to connect the Extreme Cold Weather Bag to the three season and the bivy sack. The guide clearly shows where to find the connections inside and outside of the item. Finally, remember that the clothing layers discussed do not come issued with either sleep system. They must be drawn separately from either the individual or the unit issue facilities. During this video, you've seen the improved sleeping mat and the all-purpose liner. I want to quickly point out some of the features of these two new items. The improved sleeping mat incorporates an accordion design which facilitates faster opening and closing. The elastic bands help keep it secure, and it easily attaches to the bottom of your USMC pack using the compression straps that come with the pack. The all-purpose liner is identical to your current poncho liner, except in the fact that we've added a zipper, which allows it to be used as a sleeping bag liner or even as a field expedient sleeping bag during warmer conditions. On the woodland side, we've added a water repellency for light rain protection. This particular piece of equipment is critical to staying warm, so don't leave home without it. Finally, here is a list of tips when using your sleep systems. They can also be found on your user guides that accompany each bag. This video is brought to you by the Product Manager Infantry Combat Equipment, Marine Corps Systems Command. For more information or to schedule training, Contact PDM ICE via email at pdmice at usmc.mil.